My name is Anna Tuzato. Where are you studying, Anna? Uh, I'm studying DAT in Dublin. Uh, what have you been doing for the last two weeks? Oh, I've been working really hard on Muro Street Arts event in Dublin. With, uh, with Muro, I wanted to bring together different uh, urban experiences, uh, street art experiences. Um, yeah. And who are the people involved? Who are the artists that you've brought in? Well, they're, they're from different countries and they have different age and cultural background. But uh, most of all of, of them, they, they live in Dublin. What was DIT's involvement in your project? Uh, DIT sponsored the project, uh, DIT Foundation actually. Um, and uh, they've been very supportive. My name's DMC. I'm from lovely Lurgan in County Armagh. I think it was was it November, October, November. You had asked me about you know coming on board. I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, wall in the city, brilliant. But I was sort of really happy that it it didn't come around until now, because like the the piece I had painted and the location of the piece was just I think it was. I maybe wouldn't have been prepared for that before, mm -hmm. so, um, but with it being such a public space, such a big space, mm. I was glad that I was sort of able to, to do something really big and, you know, meaningful and hopefully, you know, hopefully it's appreciated and it's kind of, I, I think it's probably my favourite piece, just with including everything, not just visually, the, just like the experience and what it meant and just being, being asked to come to the city, being asked to come to Dublin to, to do the walls really cool, like real, real important to me. <coughs> and uh, what's, what's the piece called and what's it about? Uh, the piece is called Saudade, which is, Saudade is a Brazilian word, or like Portuguese, and it's, it's basically, it's very hard to translate it into English. But it, it's kind of like a, a feeling of real like homesickness and longing and like it's, it's a real big deep word, you know. It's like you can't even describe it as being homesick, but it's it's more than that, you know. It's deeper than that, and it's like a it can be about a place or a feeling or a memory or family or, or things like that. So. The, the girl I painted is a Brazilian girl, and it's sort of reflecting on her living in Dublin and sort of thinking of home. Really good art, really added to the place, um, and I thought it was just, you know, more of this because it's a kind of a, it's a little bit of a dead area, and you know, it's really, it's really adding to it. Okay, ciao, mi chiamo Danilo, e sono italiano e arrivo da Como. Giuseppe, e sono anche di Como italiano. Ormai 14 anni, anche prima, ho sempre dipinto anche da bambino. Prima in casa, poi dopo ho fatto delle scuole. E, e niente, poi man mano mi ha trovato boh, un percorso, una mia idea. E, e niente, poi mi sono ritrovato a dipingere in strada con i ragazzi della mia città. Giuseppe e altri e bah, abbiamo iniziato, cioè, ho iniziato a dipingere nelle, nelle zone abbandonate, nelle zone, zone dismesse della mia città e poi dopo man mano la cosa si è evoluta e da lì si, si muoveva, si andava anche in altri posti e la, la cosa nasceva cosa, quindi boh, finivamo anche in situazioni boh, posti, dai, dei posti occupati a, a muri su commissione perché la gente ci chiamava e apprezzava le nostre cose.
Start è un nome che hanno messo, che ha messo qualcuno. Io la roba l'ho fatta perché lo se... Ma non perché per farci tazzo, è una roba che ho fatto per... perché ho iniziato a fare graffiti, però come dicevo prima ho iniziato a cambiare a fare personaggi, ma non per quello che si fare street art. Anzi, addirittura non è si tratta tutto fuori un po' dopo col tempo, perché prima era, era un'altra. era una cosa un po' anche strana, anche il momento in cui lo faceva, gente non è che la prendeva tanto bene perché erano abituati tutti a vedere le lettere, così non capivano bene come c'è cioè, cos'era, cosa stai facendo così. Diciamo un po' più marchiata a livello uh, pubblico, penso che sia dopo il, cioè il 2005-2006 come lo okay. Ma io lo, te lo, detto, lo faccio sempre per, per, me, cioè, per quello che mi sento nella testa di tirar fuori. Poi se uno la chiama street art, se uno la chiama arte contemporanea, se uno la chiama segni diaboli, eh, sono venuto 3000 nomi sempre. Poi boh, lo so quello il nome glielo mette qualcun altro, io faccio. Um, I've been painting for years since I was like a kid or whatever, but I don't really do much graffiti, so this is a bit of an experiment. How did you get into it? Uh, street art. Street art. Well, I did a mural of a guy called Bob Doyle, who was um, he was a guy who he was the last surviving Irish guy who fought in the Spanish Civil War, and I did that on the cobblestones, so because uh, he was born on North King Street, so it was kind of a local thing, and uh, yeah. So. Unfortunately, that's not up anymore, but hopefully we're going to get back up. What are you working on here today? Uh, just... Uh, usual silly kind of car grotesque cartoon characters that I like drawing. Um, I don't really paint too much. I mean, just draw, but I guess I've always, always been doing that. Um, yeah, it's just look, it's something I've always done. Is, I don't do it professionally or anything like that, but... It's just something I do every day. For me it's just like a, a release of like getting out of everything else and just going into like a world. And so like it all well, most of it's quite detailed and repetitive and stuff like that, so it it's kinda of calming in a way. Um, so yeah, it's just like an escape from everything going on outside of that world. You create also dolls, puppets. Yeah. Right? Just basically like i guess ragdolls or something they call them because they're just made of bits bits and pieces i can find and just badly sewn together yeah there's there's not a lot to them this is another just thing to to make like just to be making things i wanted to try and do something that was kind of sculptural but without having really any materials or anything like that so yeah scraps of old clothes and things like that are pretty easy to come by so How long have you been painting? Um, I'm always like to paint and draw since I was a kid and um, then later I just went to the school to the university in Monterrey City, Arts University. When did you move to Ireland? Uh, like two years ago more or less. And you've been painting around the city yeah, yeah, the whole time? Yeah, since I'm arrived. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I've been like traveling um, since I um, came to Europe. Um, I was living also in Barcelona and I was working there as well, some street art there, some street art here. Cool, okay. Can you tell us about this piece that you're making today? Yeah, it's uh, the down part, like it's not finished yet, it's going to be also in the top part. It's a Mexican motif, you can find it in the, in the carpet or in the dresses and, um, and in the top part, like I want to mix it the same colors in her head, like in the hat she has. So it's kind of the roots he's wearing with her, but it's just in the colors. And uh, all the letters that is in her is um, all like her experience, her life, and is what she's talking about. Thank you.
This is the wall. This is the wall. The, the, the mural, I don't know. The... This is where we're going to be filming. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, shit. Go like, yeah. Oh, I feel dizzy. Okay. Okay. Hi, introduce yourself. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, tell us about your street art. Oh. Okay, keep going. Um. Can we make a second? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, like... No, there's no point in doing that. It's quite emotional. Okay. <laughs>